Hello, hello, everybody. My wealth build is through the United States tax code. It's yours truly, Natasha Varela, the money nista, 20 years in audit, accounting, and tax, 13 in large business and international division of the IRS, business owner, real estate investor, wealth builder through the tax code. Um, I want to talk to my business owners or my soon-to-be business owners or my wannabe business owners. Um, a lot of people come to me and they're not sure about starting their business. And I have to tell you, if you are working your regular nine to five job, your employer, and you're thinking of starting your business, there's no better time like now. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. The, the, there's a false pers uh, false perspe perception that um, if you don't spend the money that it's sitting in your savings and your savings are going to save you, at some point your savings won't save you. Now we all should have an emergency fund. Okay. But anything past your six months, and I like to say a year, emergency fund is not, is, is just waiting for inflation to eat it up. Okay. Uh, money has to have a currency to grow, right? It has to keep up with inflation. And so therefore money has to keep transacting. It has to keep changing hands. Okay. And so if your money's not changing hands, your money is uh, surrendering to inflation. Okay. It's just sitting there sedentary. And so what I want to say is even if you start your business and you have a loss, um, for those of you who have a W-2 with your regular employer, that's still not, that's still a win. Okay. When you have a, a loss in your business and you still have a W-2, right? That's still a win. Why? Because the material participation rules, right? A material participant is someone who engages in their activity, right? Over 500 hours per the year. That's something like an hour and a half a day, right? That's easily done for a lot of business owners. Okay. Particularly in the startup phase. Okay. Or at any phase, right? And what happens is if you do have a loss, right? That loss now offsets your W-2 withholdings from your job. So you're essentially just pulling that money back out, right? Because the loss is going to offset any um, income. So I always tell people the money's not going to sit in your savings account, okay? It's just not going to, and you're going to end up um, having taxes taken out of your paycheck, right? And they're just gone. When you can actually be putting money into activities that produce cash flow even in the next year, right? Because we all have startup costs. We all have time before operations uh, you know, may gain traction. But in the meantime, you want to offset taxes that you do owe. So it's nothing better than to have this loss, right, in your business, right, expenses that you have to put into your business um, before even creating any cash flow so that you can take that expense against your current withholdings if you're actively involved in your business, right? So I want to encourage all my business owners to go ahead and start their business um, I did the Mind Your Business Challenge where I gave you something to do every day um, from, you know, searching your, your business name, your potential business name on the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office website. It's free. OK. And once you find that your name is available, right, you want to secure it. Go get an attorney or go through the um, actual steps yourself. It's a little it's a little convoluted, but you it can be done. OK. But I always say go to an attorney and let them handle it. And then once you get your name solidified, then you can secure your social media handles. You can get your domain name, right? Right? Make sure your domain name is available, .com preferably, okay? Then you, you can uh, start it with your business with an EIN. I always say please start as a sole proprietor or a general partnership, which doesn't require any LLC, only because things change so much in the beginning or people lose traction or they change their mind and now they've got an LLC they've got to deal with with the state and now the uh, Corporate Transparency Act where you have to file a beneficial ownership information report. And if you have partners that drop out of your business, you've got to refile the beneficial ownership information report. Otherwise, you will face penalties, right? And then you have your annual fees for your LLC. And so I want to encourage people to start simple until you are actually in operations, okay, concurrent and frequent, and it's actually significant. Then you can form your structure. But until then, you can get your EIN, it's free, and a DBA, doing business as. So you can still have a, an EIN for your business, okay? And you can still hire people, right? Contractors, employees, you can still get all the benefits um, before you actually tie yourself to these obligations via the federal government, via um, filing your federal return if it's an S Corp, um, and filing your state returns. Um, for inactive LLCs or, you know, paying your by, uh, your fees for having the LLC, your state fees, right? For your annual and biannual fees, okay? You don't want to incur unnecessary obligations and fines and penalties. Not a lot of people know that if you have an inactive LLC um, that you're still required to file your state, okay? Otherwise, you'll, you'll catch a penalty, all right? So go ahead and start your business, once you get your EIN under your doing business as, make sure you that's a, a name that you want for your future LLC. When you get ready to actually solidify all the people you want involved or involved, any partners, or if it's just you and you're sure this is what you want to do, 
you get it solidified, you can use that same DBA, okay, to just form your LLC and have that EIN for that LLC, okay? So we're not going to um, tie ourselves to things that could potentially hurt us in the form of penalties and fines. Then you get your business bank account and you start to um, form your structure, right? You get your payment processor, link your make a business bank account, get your advertising together, whatever have you. Even if you have a loss, it's still a win when you are a W-2 employee, okay? A loss for a business owner is still a win if you still have a W-2 from your employer because those losses offset the income that was already withheld from your W-2. You want to start your business. So if you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know, now is the best time to do it. Okay, so if you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Click the link to join my free live training or simply join the Tax Strategies Mastermind. Okay, it's a one time fee, it is tax deductible to business owners, either as a consultation fee or a startup cost. Um, it is tax deductible to real estate investors, all right, as a consultation fee, uh, educational expense. And I hope to see you guys there. Okay, it's a lifetime membership. All right, until next time.